talk about something that we, we find very interesting and very ironical and very close-minded as it relates to our African people, especially people who are in a Christian mindset, tend to look at other people's things as not valid. You know, a lot of us don't want to really study other people's spirituality, other people's religious belief, because we get so stuck in the Bible and we feel that the Bible is the beginning and end of it all. You know, we read some stories in the Bible that it's kind of really weird, but we still accept it as a reality, as a truth. Yet still when we reach like African folk tales, you know, we tend not to want to see them as a reality, even though it depends on the same line as these religious, biblical stories. But we tend to want to see them as, oh, it's just some little folk tale, or just some this and that. I'll give you an example of it. You know, in the Bible, them have a snake attack and them have a donkey attack. And them have a man who claims say, him command the sun to stand still. Now, people see that as, because it's not the Bible. Because if it was not the Bible, they wouldn't check it. Because it's not the Bible, them declare say, it's a, it's a truth. Now, I could take a Brother Nancy story. Most of us know Brother Nancy. Brother Nancy is a spider, and it is, the story I come from the Asante kingdom. Now, Nobody believes you a spider talk. But in the folk tale of the Asante kingdom, Brother Nancy is really a cunning character in it where people really, especially in Jamaica, we admire but we see it as we see him as a criminal. Now, if I tell a Christian say a spider was stalking in the Asante kingdom, them look for me and laugh and go like me idiot. But them look for you now and tell you a snake attack. And you say, where you get that from? Them say it in the Bible. What kind of craziness is that? A spider attack in our Santi kingdom, which is not a reality, but is really a mythology, is really a story showing a certain perspective. Most Anansi stories is almost like parables. It's saying something to show you what is it in life you must deal with. But when we read the, 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 the Bible stories, we tend to want to believe that them is real and them is, is something of value more than everybody else. You now, only for Africans, only for even my Rasta bridge in them, they never even look in at the Oladome, which is the Yoruba traditions, the Akan traditions. They don't look into the Egyptian Book of the Dead, otherwise called the Coming Forth by Day. They don't look in at the Bhagavad Gita, they don't look in at the saints of Buddha and all these things. Because there's something in our mindset that tells us say, if it is not Christian, if it is not biblical, it don't have no valid validation. Yet still, the Bible as an Old Testament story is 500, well, say 500 BC. That means say, before, before 500 BC, them never have no Bible. Yet still, all of the stories them in the Bible tend to want to show you what was happening even before man make. Who is writing these stories? These men who was living, I could say 500 BC, how did they know that the earth was built in six days and this built before that and that built before that? And then we come 5,000 years after, 5,000 years after, for claim now that these things is valid. How we get these things to be valid when there's no perspective? Because it's only in the Bible story you find, it's only in the Bible you find a whole heap of these stories. How the hell a man command the sun to stand still? What kind of crazy talk is that? Joshua command the sun to stand still. The sun cannot move. Man, there's no word that man can say. There's nothing that man can do that make the sun move and then command it to stand still. This is just stories. It's stories to make the thing look like it's a bigger story than what all other stories is saying. A snake is talking to a woman. How the hell a snake was? What part of history? Where in history snakes were speaking? But we come to the understanding and we say, repeat, repeat, we keep repeating it year in, year out, centuries, centuries out. And we keep repeating these so called Jewish stories. That is not real. Even the story of Abraham. 
in, 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 in Galatians, which is the New Testament, Paul, a writer to the Galatians, say, talk about the allegories of Abraham. You know what an allegory is? An allegory means it's just a story. It's not real. When somebody says something is an allegory, it means that it is just like a brother Nancy story. It's really talking about something that leads to something else. And we, as African people, suck it all and don't understand, say, we cannot look at these stories as more valid than African traditions, African retentive elements that we now find ourselves in Jamaica and in most of the Caribbean, old faster. You know, because people hear about voodoo and obia, and when we hear about Yoruba traditions and all these things, we demonize it. We demonize it. Yet still, them have you drink the blood of Jesus and eat them flesh, you know, sitting around a table. That is not real. Nobody's drinking the blood of Jesus. Well, let me hear you say, Mountain, Mountain.